61A lecture number 34. Announcements. Homework 12 is due next Tuesday. Homework 13 will be released this week, and it's due the Monday after Thanksgiving. We've tried to keep it short so that you can have a break. There's also a completely optional Scheme Recursive Art contest that you're welcome to enter, but you really don't have to. If you do want to participate, entries are due the Monday after Thanksgiving. There will be no lab and no discussion next week so that you can enjoy a break. This weekend is big game, and tonight is the big game bonfire rally at the Greek Theater starting at 7 p.m. I'll be there. I believe I've even been given permission to burn something. If you want to find out what, come to the Big Game Bonfire Rally. I hope to see you there. Go Bears! I'll make one more plug for the Scheme Recursive Art Contest. It's one of my favorite parts of this whole course because people come up with the most creative things. The whole idea is to use the interpreter that you built to draw something recursive. Anything you want. Here is an entry from fall 2012. There are going to be two divisions, featherweight and heavyweight, and those indicate how many scheme tokens you're allowed to have in your program. This tree was drawn with only 176 scheme tokens, so you can write a very short program and have a very interesting result. Here's the fall 2013 heavyweight winner with 1,857 scheme tokens. So if you want to draw something more involved, you might have to write a bit longer program. I hope you participate. You certainly don't have to, and you deserve a Thanksgiving break, so you could just chill out if you want. But if you're looking for a way to use the scheme interpreter that you built, here's something fun you can do with it.